I'm Josh Waters, Product Manager with DeWire Instruments, and I will be reviewing our DCG2 Digital Calibration Gauge. The DCG2 stands approximately 7 inches tall and has a 4 inch aluminum housing. The process connection is a half inch male MPT and the wetted materials are 316 stainless steel. The DCG2 has a half percent full scale accuracy and an operating temperature range from 14 to 122 degrees F. The gauge is powered by one 3.7 volt AA lithium ion battery and has a potential battery life of 10,000 hours. The back of the housing has a rubber liner to offer a small amount of protection if the gauge is dropped and to offer a more secure grip for the user. The DCG2 display has four distinct features. The battery life and pressure units are located in the upper left hand side of the display. In the upper right hand side of the display, there is an analog gauge dial for viewing either percent of range, pressure swings, or alarm set points. The bottom display has five half inch tall digits. The entire display can be illuminated with a bright blue backlight. The DCG2 has seven buttons on the face of the gauge. The first button is the on off button. Press and hold the button for a second and the gauge will turn on. Press and hold the button again and the gauge will turn off. The button with the analog display will change the mode of the analog gauge in the upper right hand corner of the display. The analog display can, can display percent of span, pressure swings, or alarm set points. The peak button will display high or low peak values. Press the peak button once and display the high peak value. Press the peak value twice and display the low peak value. The button with the light bulb will turn on the blue backlight. Press the backlight button once to turn on the backlight. Press and hold the backlight button to change how long the backlight will stay illuminated. The backlight button can be programmed to stay on for 10, 20, or 30 seconds. The units button will allow the operator to select from nine different engineering units. Press and hold the units button to display the ambient temperature conditions. The last button is a zero button. To re-zero the gauge, press and hold the zero button for one second. Make sure there is no pressure applied to the gauge.